Have you seen anything from your experience that really calls your attention out that's interesting and, you know, that our audience should know about with regard to the attendee experiential experience at the events? So I think each each event is different. So what I've experienced may be different for someone else. So I would first sure. say, and I'm going to quote my CEO, he always says, data, facts, and analysis. So go out, survey your attendees, try to find what it is that they're looking for as far as content, as far as experiences, and then try to develop and design your program that way. From events I've gone to and events I've developed myself, some of the unique things are, you know, incorporating wellness into your events. A year ago, I was in um, Mexico for MPI's WEC conference, and they did a really good job of doing that. So I took some of those learnings from that conference back to my own events and, and started incorporating. So even if you don't have a big budget, there are just little things that you can do to make small changes. And then over time, those small changes, you know, they build upon each other. I was at an event earlier uh, this summer, a Marriott event, and they had in the morning optional um, fitness for people. So if you wanted to walk or run, you meet up in the lobby and you as a group go and do the event yourself. So it's kind of taking taking it off the organizer and putting it back on the attendee t- to find those groups that they want to meet up with and and do that activity of whatever that activity may be. And I think that that's a great way of letting people decide what it is they want to do and um, not putting so much onus back on the planner. It's a great point, you know, because it's not just um, the attendee shows up and washed me over with a great keynote you know, which is what I'm very involved with, or here's a panel discussion that is just can't be missed or a breakout session that's required for some, you know, CEU or something like that. There is a responsibility on the attendee and whether it's meet up in the lobby for a walk run or a yoga kind of um, moment, or even a meditation, a mindfulness moment, Bringing yourself as the attendee forth to participate and be part of the activation is so important. What I found as an attendee is when I do go to these wellness events, um, I was recently at one and there was yoga. And now when I ran into those people that participated in yoga, whether it was at the break or at a lunch or later in, at another session, it was already a different kind of connection. And it's a meaning, it's a space where meaningful connections can happen apart from the content, which you could say that the wellness experience is part of the content, the holistic experience as well. But, um, you know, bringing responsibility to the attendee as well as is, uh, I see is critical. And just like when you and I were at WEC um, in Louisville, uh, the open night reception was at Churchill Downs. And so they um, had an activation where attendees could make their hats prior to the event. And again, you're just trying to incorporate something with the area that you're at, um, giving the attendees that experience of, yeah. of local flavor. And I was one of those that was happy about that because while I did get the pre-event communications about the hat and all that, I didn't pack one. I was coming from another two events. It just... It, just logistically didn't work for me. So I was appreciative of that, you know, and the thoroughbreds and the bourbon certainly mm-hmm. helped as well. 